how would you like to have RCP control over an AJ RovoCam camera? That's possible with the Skyhoy RCP and a device call for the AJA RovoCam camera using the Visca protocol to shade it with iris shutter speed gain and all the color settings that's available on that protocol. And in this video, I would like to show you how this is done. So um, right here on the table, I have AJA RovoCam uh, here. Um, and uh, let me just show you the topology from top. It goes into this, let's call it base station with um, this CAT5 cable, power supplied. This is RS-232 signaling coming from this little box over here. HDMI out, and that goes into a recorder so you can follow the output from the camera. This device is a converter between Ethernet and the serial communication to the master station or main station here, base station, and that is then channeled over to the camera, okay? And the Skyhoy RCP connected with Ethernet talks through this box to the AJA RovoCam over here. So you now have an iris handle for shading your RovoCam. Later, we may take a look at how the configuration of the RCP has been uh, set up. But let's first take a look at how the iris handle will shade the camera. So up here on the knobs, I can adjust the exposure mode and currently it's in auto. So if I move the camera around, I'm just holding the camera and moving it around, you'll see a great feature of the way we integrate with Visca. It will pick up the value changes in the external device. You see how the iris, the shutter speed and gain values that RovoCam picks itself in the case of uh, an automatic mode will be reflected back to the RCP. That's great. So now we change to manual mode and we can now adjust shutter speed using the knobs. And you see how this affects the picture. We can also adjust the gain and we can adjust the iris. Now it's, uh, it's not meant to be adjusted by this knob actually. Um, what we wanna do is to use the joystick to adjust the iris. And you see how that works. We can now pull the joystick and as we do so, we adjust the iris in the RovoCam. And we also see the iris value in this display as well as the display on top too. So we also put in white balance mode. And um, when we change white balance mode, you'll see how this also changes the output of the RovoCam as expected. And um, that's just like showing you the most important things that we have built into the RovoCam support uh, as of now, uh, I think when you watch this video, we are likely to have all the remaining Visca features implemented, but we were so excited that we can actually use the RCP to shade this camera that we wanted to share it with you right uh, now, right away, um, to inspire you to see what's, what's coming up next. And of course, if you buy our RCP, you can also enjoy all the other Unisketch device course, so you can hook up with e, uh, such as a video router or a video switcher for uh, operating the preview button on the RCP and, and all the usual stuff, the flexibilities you enjoy when you work with Skyhawk controllers.